Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Best Tecker Full HD Palm Quarter. The reason I chose this particular video camera to add to my arsenal of tools uh, was because, frankly, it was cheap. It was one of the cheapest cameras that I was able to find that had a few key features that I was looking for to add to my vlogging. Uh, one was the external microphone, two was the full HD, and then three was the reversible screen so that I could see myself as I was filming. I'm also going to include a link to this Gorillapod which I have here. I chose this Gorillapod because it's going to give me a lot more flexibility when it comes to placing the camera in different positions mounting it to different items, or even if I want to walk and hold the camera. Just a few of the things that I noticed about this particular camera when I purchased it. Uh, obviously the first thing you notice about it is this large external microphone. This was one of the key selling points for me. This microphone gives me a lot of flexibility, not only for its own use, but I can also plug in all different styles of microphones to this camera which means I could use a lapel mic, I could use a different shotgun mic, or possibly even a mounted mic in a different location if I chose to. It is full HD, so it records in 1080p, which is pretty much the minimum standard that you're gonna want if you're putting videos onto YouTube. And it has the selfie screen, which folds out and flips around so that you can see yourself as you're filming. This is an important feature for me to be able to find on a camera in this price range. Some of the cons to having a camera that is this inexpensive is there is no built-in image stabilization. So as you're walking and holding the camera, your footage may come out a little shaky. So you're always gonna to wanna to be very careful about how you do those shots. And it's a little bit of a nitpicky thing, but for me, the tripod mount that I showed you earlier has a little stape that screws into the bottom. And when it's screwed in, you can't open the door to access the battery or the memory card. Overall, I found that the image and audio quality from this camera is actually pretty good. I've included some sample footage today, and if you continue watching my vlogs, you're going to be seeing plenty of footage coming from this camera in the future. So we're now recording with the Best Taker Palm Quarter. As you can see, the video quality is fairly decent. However, it is not stabilized, so there is some shakiness to the shot. I'm using the external shotgun microphone that was included with the camera, so the audio quality is fairly decent. It does still pick up a good bit of background noise, but you're able to hear me fairly clearly over top of everything else. So there were two main reasons for me to add a camera like this to my arsenal. One is that I was recording a lot of things on my iPhone, and it's great, it takes great video, but it's my phone, and I had to put it in airplane mode, and I was getting interrupted by calls and things like that. And two is I just really wanted to up the ability to place the camera in positions like this and be able to approach it, walk away from it, capture long-term shots. And you just really can't do that with an iPhone. You have to have more of a dedicated platform for that. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to use this to kind of get that. Thank you for tuning in today. Please let me know what you think of this camera or what it is that you're shooting with. Like, comment, subscribe, and keep a full tank.